doing a video here on how to do an oil change on a Kohler motor. So this is my Woodland Mills HM126 sawmill, but this is good for most Kohler motors. So we have, actually there are dipsticks on both sides of the of the engine here. I'm going to use this one because it's easiest to access. And we have the uh, the drain plug here too. So you remove the dipstick, if we're doing an oil change, you remove the drain plug. And of course, uh, I, I did this previously, so that oil coming out is pretty icky. Um, what I did was I took a Sharpie and wrote on the, on the paint here what the, uh, the size was. This is actually a 13 millimeter bolt. And odds, uh, oddly enough, it's also 13 foot-pounds of torque to put that back on. So we're going to let this drain for a minute. And uh, then we'll fill it with oil. So 10W30 is what it recommends. I've got some SAE30 that I'm going to use just to use it up. but. Should be good enough. Uh, in the manual, it says SAE 30 is really only good for 50 degree and above operation. So since I'm not going to be running this this winter, at least I hope not, uh, should be fine. And if I am going to run it this winter, I'll change out the oil for something a little thinner. All right, we've finished draining here, so I'm going to. Put the drain plug back. I'm going to tighten this gently here by hand, and I'm going to hit it with the torque wrench later. All right, so dipstick out. To use this guy to go in there and that's not going to be super fun so I'm going to put the camera down and uh, I'm just going to get this filled so you, you need a quite a long funnel to actually get the oil in okay so you fill up the hole here until basically the the oil overflows out the hole the reason is because this is a splash type oiling system, so the oil is down in the base of the crankcase. So you basically just fill it up good and put the top on and make sure the the crankcase nut is tight. Right there. Make sure that's tight uh, to 13 foot-pounds. And you've changed the oil. That's that. Hope you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Just for reference sake here, the capacity is 1.1 quarts. And the preference is 10W30, according to Kohler.